G'day everyone. CBD oil has been described as a miracle cure for everything from epilepsy to anxiety. But is it really the miracle cure we think? CBD is a naturally occurring cannabinoid constituent of cannabis. But even though it comes from cannabis, CBD oil doesn't contain the THC that gives you that high feeling. But like homeopathy, magnetic bracelets, acupuncture, and everything sold on Goop, is CBD oil just overhyped bollocks? Well, clinical trials now show that CBD is effective for one thing, childhood epilepsy. The FDA recently approved CBD as a treatment for seizures associated with two rare and severe forms of epilepsy, Lennox-Gastaut syndrome and de Vret syndrome, marketed under the name Epidiolex. Now, this is the first time that the FDA has actually approved CBD as a treatment for anything. But if you don't happen to be an epileptic child, your question is, does CBD work for my anxiety, depression, acne, OCD, headaches, pain, or cancer? And the official answer from science is, drum roll please. Mm -hmm. Officially, no one has completed clinical trials proving that CBD is an effective treatment for anything other than childhood epilepsy. Now, just to clarify here, when I say clinical trials, I mean a large FDA approved four stage series of trials in humans. But there are many preclinical studies, like animal studies, to suggest that CBD is a useful treatment. And that's where this gets a bit iffy. Unlike, say, methylphenidate or Ritalin, CBD is already accessible without a prescription in many places. You can get it without going to a doctor. That means a lot of people are jumping the gun and not waiting for science. They're using CBD off-label for a whole range of diseases and disorders. But just like Ariana Grande's new side part, CBD does have potential. It may work as a treatment for some conditions, in some people, some of the time. The problem is that right now, it's often being used as an alternative to actual medical care. I have no idea why people would do that, as our medical system is so completely awesome. In case you can't tell, I'm being sarcastic. Because many Americans don't have access to a doctor or insurance to pay for prescribed drugs. <clears throat> Single payer. <clears throat> now, although I've watched my fair share of Grey's Anatomy, I'm surprisingly not a medical doctor. So if you're watching this vid because you want to know if you should take CBD oil, I can't tell you what to do. The only thing I'm qualified to recommend is Vegemite because that shit is amazing. What I can say is you should always try and seek the medical and mental health care that you need. And if you're going to give CBD oil a crack, it may relieve your symptoms, but there's also a chance it may be masking the symptoms of a more serious illness. And it might be safe, but like any substance, it can come with side effects. Side effects that no one needs to tell you about because CBD oil is not a federally regulated drug. Now, the latest scientific studies on the effectiveness of CBD could be a whole series of videos on their own. I'd encourage you to click on the links below and do your own research before you use CBD oil as a treatment. Or just move to a country with better healthcare. I hear Australia is pretty nice this time of year. But what do you guys think? Have you ever considered taking CBD oil or have you already tried it yourself? Let us know in the comments below. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.